What we're seeing is pricing getting even more expensive uh, for 2020 with this new monetary policy by the EU. So I think we are seeing core products go down well below um, 3% towards 2.5%, uh, which is making more money go towards more value-add, core plus uh, opportunities to really try and get the returns by driving income. Um, in terms of hotspots for 2020, I think um, Paris is really the darling of Europe at the moment, even though it's got the political uncertainty but with the huge major infrastructure it's got with the new railway lines and the Olympics coming in 2024. Um, core product is very expensive but I think it's a good opportunity if you go down that core plus value add in those new areas of Paris. Uh, Berlin continues to be uh, always in the top two. Um, I think you know the airport's opening next year hopefully finally so hopefully um, you know uh, Berlin will do. There is huge rental growth very little grade A um, office supply so I think uh, there is a genuine rental growth story for Berlin but other cities like Hamburg has got the largest uh, mixed-use development called Hafon City um, so I think buying around that area would be a good bet for next year uh, and also Nievo Norte in Madrid in the north of Madrid has now got planning consent so I think those sort of areas where there's major major infrastructure improvements and mixed-use development are probably good bets for next year.